morning. Hey, it's Renee with Camp Inside with Renee B. And uh, we're on the floor again this morning, and we're going to work, work uh, concentrate on our core today. So we're going to be doing sit-ups and things like that. So uh, that's why we need a mat while we're on the floor. So uh, let's get started, right? So we're going to start with some simple crunches. Uh, hands behind our head like we did last night. Elbows out, chin up, okay? So find your... There we go. <clears throat> and feet flat on the floor. Abs tucked in. Elbows out. And here we go. Lifting those shoulders off the ground. Five more, here we go, ready, five, four, three, two, one. Now, lift those feet off of the floor, okay? But we're still gonna crunch. Now we're just gonna have it a little extra challenge for our lower abs just by holding them here, okay? Here we go. <coughs> Good evening, good evening. Okay, now let's do straight crunches with our arms straight out above our head, okay? We'll see if we can do these or not. So, um, keeping your arms out, stay in motion as we had just a minute ago, just lifting those shoulders up. <sighs> and breathe, which I'm struggling with because it's full of congestion still. So, here we go. Keeping that chin up. You tell having our arms up gives it a little more of a challenge, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Got five more. Here we go. Ready? This is five. Four, three, two, one. Whew, okay. Now cross your ankle over your knee and opposite elbow, hand behind your head, arm out. We're going to go knee to elbow, concentrating on getting that elbow up to the knee. Don't forget to bring that knee up to the toes, okay? So we'll get our obliques down. <coughs> Suggestion today because it's so congested, but whatever. Here we go. Okay, ready? Like such. Pull that floor back side up off of the ground. Five more, here we go, ready? And this is five, four, three, two, one. Guess what, we gotta do that other side. So cross that leg over the other ankle over the other knee. Elbow out, arm out, get that form going. Get ready, breathing, right? Here we go.
more. Here you go. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Okay, now we're going to do a bicycle, but we're going to modify it because I always struggle with it. So, a bicycle normally, feet are up like this. All right, and you're crunching up and you're switching back and forth like such. Okay, now that's really one of the best lower ab workouts you can do is the bicycle with your legs out like that. But I am not strong enough to do that yet. And even when I was stronger, I always had a hard time with bicycles. So we're going to modify. We're modifying by keeping one foot on the ground, but we're still bringing that knee up and crunching. Okay, now if you can do legs out full on, go for it. Okay. So, and I have to go slower. <sighs> so how we're going to do it, modifying it, is basically like we were just doing that oblique movement. <laughs> just that we're going to lift this leg up and touch our little knee. You guys ready? Yeah. Here we go. Just take a breather. We got five more. Here we go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay. So. So bring those feet all the way up to your butt as close as close you can with your heels touching close by. We're going to do some oblique work by just grabbing for our heels. So we've done this before. So your shoulders lift up and we reach them to touch those heels. Bring that muscle there. Five more. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Relax. Okay. We're going to do a reverse crunch. We did these kind of last night. So, feet up. Arms out. Should have to have them in my hips to protect them a little bit. And feet up. You're going to touch the ceiling with your heels, okay? It's all using your abs where you're lifting, not your swinging of your hips and your legs, okay? Here we go. Breathing. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Now, we're going to lower our legs slowly and hold them here. Bring them back up. And do it again. This is again working our lower part of our ab. You want to go as far as you can go before your back starts arching off of the ground.
here, okay? So legs apart, arms out, reaching vertical. Five more, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, bring those knees in. Hold them tight. It's a little lab workout tonight, today, I should say, this morning. Got to get my core strong. Stretching the both. Try to get those feet and hands to touch the opposite walls. Stretch, 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 stretch. Should feel really good. Okay, swing those knees to the opposite side that you're looking. Come out. Roll over. And I'm going to do a little bit of a sort of cobra up, stretching that out. Turn our hands and knees back down. That is it. So thanks for joining me this morning for some abs and core. Um, it's good to work that muscle, but the best way to get this ab and stuff back under control is with your nutrition, which I struggle with. So if you were to eat no fat and no sugar, you would have a six pack abs <laughs> with no problems. Um, anyway, thank you for joining me. Um, you know, you're talking to your doctor, right? And listening to your body because you know what you can and can't do with wherever you're at in your journey, wherever you're like, if you just had an oophorectomy, it's taking me a long time to heal from that. So um, that's why I hit the core pretty hard today because it's finally starting to feel better. Um, you're hydrating with plenty of water. And most of all, you're remembering that you are stronger. You are stronger. You are stronger. I love you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.